So there's a way for you to make as much as five to ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month from selling books online. And no, I am not talking about low content books like these journals that are full of blank pages that I've talked about before. There is actually another type of book, and some might say it's a better book, that is still easy to create. It can be done in less than five minutes. There is no writing involved. It is free to publish. There is not as much competition. So I'm about to show you how to make and sell them on Amazon. And I'll tell you about a few extra tips and tricks that will help to increase the sale of your books and get you to those thousands a month. What's up guys? This is Monique and welcome back to the channel. I am back with the news that you can use but first if you are new here. Hello, bonjour, hola, aloha, konnichiwa, wagwan, shalom, assalamu alaikum, jambo, namaste. So first and foremost, let me set the record straight. I am not saying do not create low content books like journals, planners, and notebooks because those are still working for many people. In fact, low content books are the most popular book to sell on Amazon. But with the popularity of them, that means there is a a lot of competition out there so that's why I wanted to show you what's working this year right now and is bringing in thousands a month and what I'm talking about is medium content books and medium content books are just books with a little bit more content in them it's not the same repetitive page like activity books with mazes and sudoku in them it's puzzle books it's coloring books but one thing we are not going to do is just make anything because we are not wasting our time this year so we have to find the books that people are searching for and that's actually selling and making money and I'm going to show you just how to do that and how you can create them with just a couple of clicks using BookBoat. So when we log into BookBoat we are going to come over here to the cloud and this is going to tell us all the best sellers for low content and medium content books. So I want to see the top 500 and the category there's many you can choose from we're going to go with activity book and there are keywords that you can plug in here if you have a specific topic you're interested in. Now Easter is coming up in a couple of months and that is a big holiday and so the first thing that pops up is Easter mazes books for kids and this one actually has about 262 monthly sales now and Easter is still a few months away so this is a good one that we can consider and then you can just scroll through and see if you see anything else that you are interested in there's an Easter Sudoku book right here and this one is currently doing 152 sales but I think I'm going to look further into that Easter mazes books for kids and so I'm just gonna click in here see what type of book they created what size it is because that's going to be important it's 8.5 by 11 this was created last year and it has 326 ratings so that means that it's doing pretty well okay so now that we have figured out which books are selling the second step that we need to do is check out the competition so in order to start getting sales on books if you are new or to increase the amount of sales that you are getting if you've already started is to find a niche that has 1,000 products or less. So when I come over to Amazon, I am going to first search for maze books for kids. And as you can see, that has over 60,000 results. So that alone will not be a good niche for you to go into. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to add Easter maze books for kids. We search for that. The results are getting even better. It's down to 7,000. But 7,000 is still a lot of products to fight against. So Big Easter mazes books for kids has a good search result volume of 511. I told you we want to do less than 1,000 so that we can make sure we are getting those sales. So there is another step before we start creating it that you do not want to skip. We want to make sure that there is a high demand for this. So now we're going to go back to BookBoat and we're going to look for how many people are actually searching for this topic right now. So we're going to click on the keywords, hit the search button, and we are going to type in Easter mazes book for kids and then i'll hit this keyword phrase just to organize it and we see easter activity book for kids that one has about 4400 searches a month that's good we see easter book for kids we see easter books so all of these have pretty good search volumes and i'm going to search for a big maze book for kids 
And then look right here. We have Big May's book for kids. That one has about 6,100 searches that's going on a month now. And again, I'm a few months away from Easter. And another thing that a lot of people do to target people is to add certain ages. If you look right here, May's book for kids three. That one has 4,210 results. May's book for kids five. That one has 9,869 results. So you can pick an age group. I think I'm going to go with the five year old. So before we get into the fun part of creating this book, which will not take us long to do, I wanted to let you know that I will be going live with Neil Lassen, who is the owner of BookBoat. He was able to quit his nine to five job and start making six figures a month with his online e-commerce business. And he wants to show us how to do it too. There will be a Q&A so you can ask whatever questions you have. Plus there will be plenty of giveaways y'all. So make sure you mark your calendars for February 22nd at 11 AM and all you have to do is come right back over here to journey with the Hintons and meet us live all right y'all so let's start creating this book and so to create this we are going to go up here where it says research we're going to click on that and we're going to select create and then we are going to go to the book boat studio and book boat is actually a software that is integrated with Amazon KDP and it will help you to select the right book templates for your products so when we come here we are going to be making a paperback book we're going to leave it at cover and interior you could just name it whatever you want and as far as the size we're going to choose 8.5 by 11 and then as far as the page count the things i've been seeing that's been doing well anywhere from around 100 pages 75 pages i'm just going to go with 50 pages today so the first thing you'll work on is your cover page and your cover page is going to be important to attracting people to setting yourself apart from the competition. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. Just go up here, select high cover template. So we are going to go over here to this picture button. Then we'll select Pixabay and we'll type in Easter and we'll just scroll through and see what different type of stuff that they have in here and you want to keep in mind this is for kids so you want something kind of cartoony looking so this is what I was able to find and I'm going to just grab the ends and stretch it so that it completely fills this page you want to make sure every ounce of it is covered and honestly because so much is already going on in this photo that we added we don't really have to do too much else other than add a title and to do that I'm going to come up here to this text and then I'll select heading and I'm going to type in Easter mazes. I'll bring that up here and I'll add one more text to it because I want these two to be different fonts and I'm going to type in for kids and then I'll drag that up here and I'm going to select it and just play around with some fonts until I find something I like. I think that looks good. Now I'm going to change the color because I still want it to look playful. So I'll completely select that, come up here to the color box and you can drag this around to change the color. So then I'll select the other one and change that color. You can also make this another color as well. I saw a photo of some bunny ears in here that could be pretty cute. We're going to select it, make it small. And then I think I'm going to put it on top of that. And I'm going to add one more text type in big and I'm going to put it in this cloud and I will make it orange and I think that's it for the cover that actually was the hardest part of this so now it's time for us to work on the interior and we're going to come over here and select page one and you can add a this belongs to page if you want to and to do that you'll just go back to the photos you'll look through some Easter stuff and remember the cover will be color but the interior will be black and white. And so I found this photo. I'm gonna come up here to effects and I'm gonna grayscale it because that's what it's gonna look like. And then I'll just add some text to it that says this belongs to. I'll change the font of it. And then I'll go up here to the shapes and I'm going to add a line. And then I'll stretch it out and make it thinner. And then we're done with that page. And I usually will skip page two because that's going to be the back of the this belongs to page and I'll actually start working on page three and so now we're going to start working on our mazes y'all we'll go to this little maze button here and this is where all the templates that are in book boat are here's the word scramble they have they have mind finder there's a lot of different things that you can do with activity books word search sudoku crossword but right here we have our mazes we have rectangular we have circular we have 
all of these other ones too so i'm going to do a mixture of them and i'm going to first start with the rectangular and once you select this y'all and pick whichever pages you want it to go on book boat is going to randomize it and every single maze will be different so once i select all the pages i want the rectangle one to be on i'll hit next and then right here is where you want to change the size because we're making this for kids a 20 by 20 is going to be something for adults and so the lower the number the easier it's going to be we're doing a five-year-old so i maybe will change this to seven by seven and we'll hit submit and so this is what it's going to look like y'all and every maze again is going to be different that's what this one looks like this is what the next one looks like i'm going to go back to those mazes and this time i want to do a, some circular ones so i'm going to select a few pages that i did not select the first time and since we're doing a circular one it's going to be different we don't put in two numbers we'll just change this so for my circle i'm going to select five and then this is what the circle ones will look like and so again if we scroll to the next one it's going to look different so i'm going to go back now and select the last one i'm going to do and this one will be the honeycomb and i will select the rest of the pages that i did not select already so the honeycomb is a little bit more advanced so i wouldn't put this one as a five i would do this one as maybe a three like again you have to keep in mind the ages that you're dealing with and this is what the honeycomb one is going to look like and so now we have our rectangular mazes we have our circular mazes in here we have our honeycomb mazes so the book is just about done the only thing is you don't want to leave this plain like this you want to give them a little excitement because you're dealing with kids i'm going to go to the photos we're under easter remember and then here's a bunny you can add this to it so then we'll go up here to effects we will hit grayscale and then i'll come over to the opacity and i will decrease it and then once we get it to a good working level we come over here to the side click on that image drag it underneath that maze and this is what it's going to look like and this is one way that you can do it there's another way you can do it and you can mix and match them if you want to but basically we'll just click on the next maze so we can go back to the graphics we can look for something that's kid like and playful here's a little bunny with a duck that it's holding here we'll bring that up and then we can just go ahead on and grayscale this under the effects again sometimes grayscale may not look right you may have to do it black and white like that you can add another graphic to it like maybe an easter egg here and of course again i'm going to grayscale it so you can do something like that but you'll basically just go throughout the rest of this and selecting different photos that you want to add to your mazes the only thing left to do is save this project and upload it to amazon and so to do that we'll go up here to the download button and then we'll just download this current project as cmyk it'll start downloading and it'll save it as a cover page and an interior now in order for you to create these maze books or any other activity books with sudoku with crossword puzzles with word scramble you will need the paid professional plan of bookbo and it is $19.99 per month but i have some good news i have a coupon down below that you can use that will save you 20 percent for the lifetime of your subscription and also you can get a three-day free trial of this professional plan so you can make as many puzzle books as you want to get a feel of it and and you can make this money now once your book is finished downloading we are going to head over to the final step which is to upload it to Amazon KDP and I'm not going to go through every single step to uploading this because I have gone through it thoroughly before but I just want to pull out a few things for you to just keep in mind so that you can get sales on these books so once we hit create we will choose a paperback book and then we're going to put the book title in now whatever title you put on that cover page is what's going to have to first be included Included, and I'm going to add age 5 to it you can put a colon and then you can go back and add all of those other keywords that you found in book boat and another thing that's important again you want to target as many different 
keywords as you can and use up all these spaces so that you can increase the reach of your book but right under keywords is categories and bookbub will help you to find the right categories under their research there's a kdp categories option you click on that and then you'll type in easter maze book for kids and then they'll give you a ton of different categories for you to choose from that will be helpful and something that's real big make sure you do not select low content books again we are doing medium content books and the reason this is important is going to be something that's going to help you increase your sales again because with medium content books you'll be able to get a isbn number that's that barcode that's at the bottom of the books with low content books amazon stops supplying those and with that isbn number that's going to increase the amount of places that you can sell this book and also the difference between the medium and the low content books is that amazon will offer that look inside option and looking inside is going to be something big when it comes to the competition because one of the things everyone does when they are looking for something to buy other than looking at reviews is they're going to want to look inside and see what this thing looks like and so having that option there is something that's going to help you to sell this book and i also mentioned reviews y'all that's going to be something that's going to also help you to sell this book more even if you have to make the first purchase yourself that's going to show amazon that this book is getting some interest or you could get a family member to purchase it and leave a review and then they will help you to start placing in the search ranks on amazon but remember the best way for you to succeed here the best way for you to actually start making this good amount of money is going to require you to do thorough research and you can also use amazon's marketing strategies like a plus content that is something that is going to help your product to stand out again against the competition so if you want me to do another detailed video on the marketing strategies on amazon like a plus content drop it down in the comments and let me know and if you have not already done so, please like this video for me. It really helps me out. And other than that, I thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we are out. Peace. <laughs>